Something about how we have names for everything now. How each leaf has its place at the shaded side of the river. The dark dirt under the cocoa onion has a name for that kind of soil. The soft cup of scales forming the echeveria has a name. The way it folds, the filament in the light in the wick of the firefly has a name. Effusion. Water in the knee, and it has a name. Meniscus. Which is really a form of liquid textology, dividing the meat into chunk and gill. There were still unseen places and corners of experience which had no name. And so you could walk upon them for the first time and hail them out. Bump Lock's head, be dub wise and drag. And my grandmother said that if the flying frog left and landed on your face or the soft fold of your arm, that it would stay there. Attach itself with glue and you would have two iron steel steel heat and press upon the frog max skin till it's thick, 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 until it peel off. We return from country visits, from visiting kin hidden bush, to find flying frogs perched in the corners of the house, trapped in their silence of peace. I never saw their leap, but I've seen what hurricanes can do to islands. I've seen it on TV, and it had a name. Highly Day, Rack of Forest, Fringe Limbed, or Marvelous.
his language which calls all things to creation. Language is the beginning of the world. The world is the beginning. Was the great mass of a black star exploding. And the body was to bear that boom, that trust into breath, breath into fire, fire into rain, rain upon shores and rain upon rivers and rivers which pierced each region with veins and vines and vitamins. A great storm was coming. The air would shake, it would tremble, it would break. But our little house would withstand it all. It would not fall, it would not fail. Language, 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 torrents of rain. It was language which decolonized our minds with a new language, a language rooted deep in the resonance of the drum, a language with a deep scope of feeling, a language with the cry of the horn, root strata, and every beat and bear with a deep scope of feeling. It was language it was language which freed us from ourselves. Language, language, language.
On guitar, Tibor Remy, who is also the composer of the music of this next song that we're going to do, something called Calling England Home. What's the first single? Yeah, Tibor Remy. On drums, Rod Youngs. <laughs> Rod Youngs. Yeah, yeah, this is a full clip, full contingent. On bass, Andrew John. Andrew John. You guys know this dude here, right? And you also know this guy here. This dude here is our MD, our everything, our guru. The boss man, he calls me the boss man, but he is the boss. This is Jason Young. Yeah. On tenor saxophone and baritone, the bad man, the man who been with me from time, from like, I don't know, 2004, 2005, Colin Webster Young. Colin Webster. And again, you know, I've got some really great musicians, man. This is one of the baddest saxophonists the UK has produced, I think. This is Dennis Baptiste on the far end. Yeah, bass clarinet, tenor saxophone. And it's an honor to play with these guys, man. It's a real honor, real talk. Real, real, real honor. So this is Calling England. Black and been here since 1949. West London Joe Grind, take it easy. We saw him, you saw him, walking along the canal last night. And what a joy to buck up upon him at the carnival today. To hear him speak about the dances and the bands at the Paramount. The spots you couldn't mix with white in. Remembering London. How we've been slapped so hard with the lash. Sam Selvon said. And it take him 60 years before he could call England. to come here in black and white 1959 time longer than twine so long ago he don't remember being a child just a suit and steamer trunk upon a ship which took a good six weeks to cross we sat at his kitchen table and I filmed him on the slide but he wasn't saying much at least nothing I could put in a poem instead he showed me photographs with the dashiki and the fez, with Michael X at the ambience. Outside, the night came in. And we had moved so far, so far away from ever calling England.
I've been here longer than home. Since 1989. Remember halls then? In the springtime. I used to walk from Cripplewood to Marleybone High Street to cut up meat, to punch out dough. I was never asked to wait tables or to serve scones or coffee. No, I worked in the basement. But I soon learned how to tie my apron in a way which retained some dignity. And in my first summer above the corner shop, I listened to Red Room on Pirate Radio. I was flung so far, so far from any notion of nation. I mean, how long do you have to live in a place before you can call it? Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that song has got a long story to it, but I'm sure the lyrics will tell you enough. Um, so, one of my uh, mentors and heroes of uh, Caribbean literature passed away last year, uh, a guy called Kemal Braithwaite. Some of you might have heard of him, some of you might have read him. If you haven't, get to know Kemal, because... You know, Kemal is one of these guys that if you ask him, where do you get your inspiration? Who do you who do you read? Who do you listen to? Who do you everything he calls is Caribbean? He's never gonna tell you, oh my inspir I read Keats when I was in college. He's never gonna tell you that. He's always gonna tell you, oh, there was a, a shoemaker who was carving a map of Africa and he taught me a lot. Or my grandmother. You know, he was someone who tried to create a Caribbean poetic aesthetic which was definably Caribbean and nothing else and it was drawing on of course the African diaspora the indigenous people of the Caribbean but he was really important really important so this is a I don't know man this is a tribute to him this is called Kemal and it's different every time we do it different energy
for Kemal. For the furtive sound of his photo aesthetic exegesis. For his liquid technology, his liquid technology, the sepi. Seducing the air, lancing the plane of sight. And if mission is righteous and holy and pure, then Baba Kemal was the sonic sage, the one who never kept silent, the one who never wept in pews, the one who never wear necktie yet. The one who never kept silent, emerging, dressed in black, much blacker than black, much blacker than, much blacker than surrealist conflict. And I've been a black surrealist ever since. Ever since I first saw my grandfather chop the wheel of his Austin Cambridge with a rock so it don't roll downhill and simple into the sea because I am don't float. Since I ran between vine and root all the way down to where the land rush wild to the sea. I hid in the trees, I hid in the trees. So much hairy snake and picker bush was tying up the land. But strong point, strong point, still found me between the leaves. your age, poet. Play sailor mass, play jab jab, play rokoto. Music, music, music. Play with five foot bones and fiddling fruit. Dance the juba with the kick and snap, with the arms of limbo. Play mud mass, play stick man, play stick man and bust the carapace. Wear the brazen breastplate and the burnt wooden mass from the upper water. Weapons in the mouth, like a tailor carving a map of Africa on the corner of some island. I ran you in Brooklyn warehouse space. No running water, no hot heat, no light. But for non, for non, for non, for non, for non, for non. I read you in every trace. I read you in every trace of diaspora. In every stone that flings from Africa. Blooming into islands, 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 islands. Come on, flash your rage, boy. Of the first month, of the first year, after 
of your debt. I come with real, 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 real. Fire this year. A wow, a wow, a wow, a wow.
I have an antenna in my bed. I have a blood duct that keeps secrets. I have a bone flute that whistles and an arrow-headed temper which can shave the treetops. In the jungle, the jungle. a Baptist, him I know. And it keeps my amulet shown. And I know, I know every slip of wind. I know every gust of the hurricane that trips through this land. This land that knows my name, the jungle, the jungle, the jungle, in the jungle, 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 How you guys feeling? Ready to take it up a little bit? Yeah? Get some vibes going in here. Let's see, what's, let's see what we can do for you. I wanna say thanks to you guys for coming out and uh, all that corny stuff, but no, thank you, you know. Jungle. In the jungle, the 
I have been seeking. I've been seeking between the fire plant of my dream for that river I used to steal fishes from. To put in a jar on the window and feed them wheat and honey until each one died. Those silver bellied slittering. They were the hourglass of rhyme. The jungle. The jungle.
on, Maka D boy. his best friend Bodie got ripped out by a cutlass coming back from fishing and fall on the slippery rocks above the bay. Capsize and enter between the ribbing and the boy body starts to beat up and the scent was of snakes in the garden after the rain. Eyes wide open and rolling round the skull turn back and come again kick back and turn back and come again rain falling on the sea fish falling out the bucket Since that day Since that day Maka could have never eat no meat hey. Big bad Maka did work
It's all about the foot. <laughs> oh, man. This guy, the whole band is controlled by Jason's right foot. I'm telling you. <laughs> Sometimes the left. If it's left, you're in trouble. Generally, the right is good. Oh, man. So I just want to take a breath just to say, um, yeah, so we had an album out uh, earlier this year, in May, actually, which, um, yeah. I think some of you heard. And um, yeah, it's done really well. People have given us a lot of feedback. I think it's about timing, man. It came out at the right time with the right spirit. People needed to hear some serious shit. Um, yeah, people needed to hear some revolutionary material, man. Um, it's how it is, man. Sometimes we're not ready for that. You know, a couple of years ago when everything was good and people were flying all over the world and enjoying and going on this and doing all these things, life was great. And then things get kind of rough, and we look to the artists and the poets to help us, to help us out of the shit, which is why during prohibition times in America, bands, jazz was doing great. Because, you know, people needed entertainment, they needed release, you know, and I think it's the same thing. And uh, also, you know, the album came out at a time just after the stuff that happened with George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter, and it was recorded in that spirit, and that touched people, I think. Um, so yeah, the rich are only defeated when running for their lives, is a line. I wish I could take credit for it, but I can't. It was written by C.L.R. James, who was a Trinidadian scholar, activist, philosopher, one of the greatest philosophers we produced. And he talks about the Haitian Revolution. Uh, and he says that the, the rev when the revolution starts and the slaves, the ex-slaves, we could call them now, started to revolt and burn down plantations. That is the only time that the rich took up and ran. Up until that point, they were holding on, holding on, holding on. But when they saw debt coming, then they ran. So it is a metaphor. It's not just a metaphor for that sort of thing, but it's a metaphor for the Black Lives Matter movement as well. I'm a phenonist, man. I believe that you know the only way you could change a system is sometimes through violence, through violent revolution. You have to. You have, yeah, uh, 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 thank you. You have, people, <laughs> people with power don't give up power unless they're forced to give up power. They don't negotiate their power away. So you have to force it. Yeah, oh man, we have to force it. Uh, Sometimes the force doesn't necessarily have to mean going out and shooting people, but you have, to, you have to work for it. You have to work for it. As, you know, Gil Scott said, you got to work for peace, you know? Um, anyway. Sometimes you got to work. It's not going to come and sit in your lap, <laughs> you know? Um, so, yeah, that was the vibe of the album. But saying that, we're going to do something that's not from the album. <laughs> we're going to do an old uh, number called Jimmy, which is equally, you know, I guess, revolutionary in its idea. It's about a, a slave that runs away from a plantation. He and his father are enslaved on this plantation. And the slave comes to the father and says, Dad, I, I, we need to get out of here, man. We need to find a way out. And the father says, nah, I'm cool. I'm, I think I'm going to just stay here, you know. Because he's old, he doesn't want to take the chance of running away and getting caught. And the, the son says, it's up to you, man. I'm going. And he goes. And then he turns around and comes back and burns down the whole plantation with his father on it. Um, yeah. Serious story. Everyone's going quiet now. <laughs> Um, who knows? 
Um, is it a true story? I don't know, man. I mean, I d probably, probably yes. I mean, you know, it probably has happened. Although, you know, a lot of shit happened in the slavery time. I never read it. I think it evolved. It came to me somehow. I don't know where it came from or who told me it, so I can't verify it. But it's a story that was given to me at some point. Um, yeah, Jimmy, upon that bridge. Upon that bridge, upon that, upon that lonesome bridge, he hasn't even eaten yet, but already he wants to spew. He has escaped the pages of a great text of marbles and rock and rock upon the landscape and shore. He has escaped into the jungle, regardless of his past desire of ages. That man dead. Upon the waters, as a pony slentering the rock. Jimmy upon that bridge, upon that, 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 upon that lonesome bridge. of dawn, rain bringing down, the Baptist boats, the pilgrimage, the pilgrimage, coming to come, coming to come, coming to coming to coming to come, coming to come, coming to come. Shaking down the winding roads, and the way some women would lift their skirts up to cross over blood and rum, rum and bone, rock and stone.
I want to give some special love right now to my bass player, Mr. John, who's holding it down. <laughs> holding it down, holding the groove right down. Groove ain't going nowhere. Later, deep in exuberant country, he could be seen catching hell with a woman whose foot was turned back. And it was said that if you would ask him, Jimmy would just say, well, you know, he really wasn't looking for a wife. He was just looking for a woman who could suck the marrow from his bone. Long Jimmy. It's been a long time since Jimmy passed this way. It's been a long time since Jimmy passed this way. Been a long time, man. Long Jimmy. Jimmy who once slapped his own father across the face. <laughs> and left the old man to pine and grind malice. Jimmy who once, moving through the grand halls of corn, flicks his cigarette into the bush. For its ember to buzz and burn 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 down the whole village. Jimmy upon that bridge. Upon that river, upon that bridge. Upon that river, upon the bridge. Upon that river, upon that 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 bridge.
<laughs> All right. So, we've come to that time where we got one more song for you. Yeah. You know it goes. You, know, you guys know the game. No, I'm, I'm joking. But no, we're going to do um, something from the album, which is called Swing Praxis. And um, thank you. Take out the seeds. Take out the seeds. <laughs> The seat, I know, man. I mean, we did try, but my God. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want to you know, say anything because it's trouble. And we, we live in a strange time. So I wouldn't instigate a riot in here. Yeah? Nah, but I mean, I would say if people want to get up and dance, there's a little bit of room in the front, but, you know, people are seated. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get involved. I'm scared. I don't know, man. But um, we'll see, we'll see. So, swing praxis, right? I'll tell you a little bit about it because it's one of those things that, you know, a lot of people don't get the idea behind it. It's really simple, you know. I was looking at uh, the stuff that was going, the stuff that is still going on in the world around, you know, uh, blackness and, and, and identity and race, right in this country, man. I was reading some shit yesterday that Pretty Patel is trying to do. I mean, it's another story. But, um, yeah, I know, I know. So we live in a weird time where, you know, being black is still a big deal, man. It's like, damn. I mean, after all these years, you would think it would be cool. It's not. It's still, it's a problem for some people. So you know, it's amazing, isn't it? Anyway, um, I was looking at that situation. And I was thinking, you know, black folks have created so much. We create so much in this world. Uh, I mean, everyone creates, but black folks have created some of the most potent forms of art. Like jazz is a really potent thing really important thing, reggae, calypso, funk, you know, these are important things. And I was thinking that they're not just music, you know. I mean, George Clinton, when he was, you know, developing funk as an idea, it was a whole philosophy he had. Uh, and likewise, you know, people like Charlie Parker, when they were creating bebop, there was a philosophy behind the bebop, which went beyond music. So my idea was to take these philosophies and transcribe them from the music and use them as tools to live and use them as tools to revolt. So swing, for instance, the idea that you can have 30 musicians playing the same riff and swaying to that and each one has, is an individual but acting for the greater good is a philosophy that we could all use. So swing praxis is about using, is praxis, the praxis and theory that we've created through jazz and, and funk and all these different kinds of really interesting music as tools for revolution of the mind, empowering the self and moving forward and changing the world. <laughs> you know? So, swing praxis. <laughs>
swing praxis in which considering the lack of a truly beautiful and violent revolution we establish ourselves as mediums for change change which must accumulate to maximum impact and speed like rhythm and rhythm is a unit of meaning of feeling of being and there are ways to withstand sustained conflict but guns Guns are the teeth to democracy. So go on, go on. Swing practice. It is self-evident that we stand on the edge of a great victory. And we are confident that we have been wounded in battle, but it's too late to turn back now. So go on bring fire music and we will navigate the fear of death go deep in the jungles of deceit and concrete and see how we are murdered on these streets or go deep and reel and go back to the old country see how only secular sound and the mutability and resilience of black spirit duality could liberate us from history Bomb. a river of vigorous spirits. Come like lightning Hopkins with the Akpala hip shake. Dance the juba with the kick and step. Jazz is rhythm, as heritage. Jazz is rhythm, as heritage.
Thank you. Um, yeah, so has anyone heard of a, a type of music called rap so? Okay, a few people. All right. That's cool. So one of the, the founders of the whole rap so movement was a, a brother called Brother Resistance, uh, who's a dude from Trinidad. Um, yeah, really important uh, poet um, and philosopher as well, and artist and performer and whatever. And, you know, I grew up uh, in Trinidad looking at him on TV and seeing him, you know, he's very accessible. Anytime you go to, like, Carnival or Panorama, the steel band stuff, competition, he'd be there. He always this omnipresent spirit amongst everyone. Uh, and I got to work with him. Uh, he, he did a song with us uh, on the album before this one. Um, and this year, in July, he passed away. And it was a real shock, yeah, because, you know, we were talking about him doing some more work with us. And anyway, he just clocked out, man, just disappeared. And that was it. I think, you know, he died, basically. And um, <laughs> it's kind of a shock. So we're going to do uh, the thing that we did with him, the song that we did with him. We recorded this in Trinidad um, a couple years back, two or three years ago. It's called Dealings. And I think it's probably one of the last recordings that he did. Um, so yeah, it's quite special, and we're going to finish off with that. We're going to let send you home with some good vibes, <laughs> with some rap soul. always nibbles in my ear. Tell them about the album. They can buy the album if you want. <laughs> <laughs> always, man. I always forget. But yeah, do we have some albums, some vinyl, and some CDs? The vinyl, for some reason, has been really uh, popular, and uh, there's only a few left. But we have some vinyl, and we got s loads of CDs, and some of this record as well that we're going to do here. So I think it's going to be outside somewhere. Um, and yeah, if we don't get to meet again, people, thank you for coming out. You know, be safe. Yeah, be safe, people. Man. You know the deal. We live in some crucial times, so be safe. We deal with the fire, we deal with the pain, the pain, the pain, deal with the power, where the sunshine on rain. But what's it mean when our people inherit a land and the land so happy to see them? And they carry their own history like secret underarm from some faraway place. And that gets high up inside the ancestral vibration of the land. Then one god of thunder meet another god of thunder and the limbo under plantation suffering.
up with wax, you woulda never hear what the rhythm say when it's speaking. They say we tired sing all them suffering songs. So rap, so and so and so is how this message going down. Whether Kaiso or rap, so I don't tell you already. But your meditation narrow and your foot too heavy. We put steps as we go down the road Help me struggle as we carry the load Oh yeah And we don't get the call that we answer Every nook, every corner, every cranny Oh yeah Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh So much oppression but we back well broad In the heart of the struggle Look, we done draw we saw it. Oh yeah in the mind. You see, we smarter than smart, man. We upset the setup. We even set up the corn, man. Yeah. Set up the corn, man. Uh, look, we're dealing, we're dealing. Even big politicians get
how it is. Thank you. So, again, Denise Baptiste, Colin Webster, Rod Youngs, Andrew John, Jason Yard, Tibo Ramey. My name's Anthony Joseph. Thank you for coming.